Literally what we see here in this study is the power of thought. It is an electrical impulse that is happening in your brain that is a measurable energy that creates an effect across distance, okay? Across distance. It is no longer something that's just affecting your biology, your chemistry, your internal order. It can create effects in your outside external world. All right, guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you two of my favorite experiments that prove the power of thought, how it is not just something that's going on in your head and how it is a measurable energy that has effects that affect your outside world that can create change in the material world through a distance. OK, so check this out. So a gentleman by the name of Rene Pioche, I hope I pronounced that right, in 1986 ran an experiment with chicks, baby chickens. And the idea was this. He wanted to see if he could isolate baby chicks in a cage and then in a room create a random number generator robot that would just randomly go all about the room with no rhyme or reason randomly. And the idea being if he could condition these chicks to think that this robot was its mom, would they be able through the power of thought and will or energy, or vibration, or frequency, be able to manipulate the random number robot to come towards them more often than randomly going about. And he called this photokinetic. Um, and so what we see here, and if you're unfamiliar, most uh, a lot of scientists like to use birds, chickens, uh, for two reasons. They're easily obtained and then maintained. And also they're readily imprintable which means that like chicks, as soon as they're born, whatever closest object is near them, they will associate that as their mom, which is pretty interesting. So what he did is he took 15 chicks, put them in a cage, right? You like my hatchling up here? And they had a random number robot in a room and it would go zigzagging all over the place. And in the controls, that's exactly what it did. And then when they put the baby chicks in a cage next to it, all of a sudden, this only stayed on this right side. And literally, it was statistically significant to the point that these baby chicks, through thought and will, were making a random number generating robot come more towards them than anywhere in the room, which is insane. And so... What they did is they then put non-conditioned chicks and how they condition these chicks is they put one chick by the robot for one hour a day for the first six days of its birth and on the seventh, eighth, and ninth day they ran this experiment. They put random um, chickens in there and it didn't do anything. So they needed some sort of control to want these chicks to want to have this robot. So the second test they did was in 1995 and they made a second bigger robot and this time they put a candle on top of it and they put 15 chickens, baby chicks, in a dark room. They did a dark room because chicks don't like the dark, especially during the day. So by using a candle and a light source on this robot, they had the light source be in the vision of the baby chicks so that when they ran the experiment, they would call for the light source to help illuminate uh, their, their area. And so what they did, and this is where it gets really fun, guys, they ran a control experiment. So again, this random number robot generator would go all over the, the place. They did 100 control trials and literally the data split perfectly, 50-50. So with no chicks in the room, they did 100 control trials where they just had the robot go about and it went 50% to the left and 50% to the right and evenly distributed around the room. The second they introduced the 15 chicks who were not conditioned, they had never seen the robot, they were never near the robot, they did not think this was it's mom, again, it's a dark room, and they just want this candlelight because they don't like the dark. They ran 87 trials, or excuse me, they ran 80 trials, and 57 out of 80 of the time, it was all around the baby chicks, which is a 71% chance that they are by the chicks. 71% of the time. That is statistically miraculous that is strong proof that your thoughts are not just something going on inside your head but in fact a force to be reckoned with in the material world and just so you know the p-value for this 
was P less than 0.01, which is huge. That means it is so statistically significant. If you're not familiar with the p-value, it's called the alpha value usually. And what it means is no, usually it's 0.05. So if it's less than 0.5, that means less than 5% of the time it will happen to the null hypothesis, which means that less than 1% of the time without this baby chickens in this control trial of 100 times, it would never happen. Less than 1% of the time would there ever be a distribution out of that 100 times where it would be 70 percent of the time in a single focused area of the room and so that p-value is very very significant um, and pretty uh, incredible evidence and so literally what we see here in this study is the power of thought it is an electrical impulse that is happening in your brain that is a measurable energy that creates an effect across distance okay across distance it is no longer something that's just affecting your biology, your chemistry, your internal order. It can create effects in your outside external world, which brings us to why the idea of manifestation and the law of attraction is so powerful and has scientific backed evidence to prove that it in fact works. You can manifest your future. I do it all the time, every single morning. I can't wait to wake up in the morning and manifest my future. In fact, if you watch this channel, you know that your brain is otherwise a map of the future or it's a record of the past. So what is your brain going to be? I challenge you guys, start taking the reins of your life. Start taking conscious awareness of your thoughts. End that negative self-narrative about yourself because your thoughts can create in the material world. We're seeing it right here through baby chicks. This is an incredible study. Again, Renee Pioch, check that study out. It's incredible. I'll link it in the comments below. And again, I challenge you guys, take control of your thoughts and manifest. Be a creator of your future, all right? If you liked this content, please subscribe and leave a comment below. And as always, guys, let's be self-empowered.